Let's get ready for Monday Mortgage Minute with your hosts, Tom McNamara and Bruce Woodburn. Tom, good to see you this beautiful Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, Hey, listen, how is the housing market right now? What are we seeing happening? Bruce, the housing market is is brisk. Um, The uh, you know, we still don't have enough inventory. Um, You know, depending on price point, things are going pretty quick. Uh, For an example, I I sold a house this weekend. um, Three quarters of a million dollars. First weekend on the market went over ask uh, by quite a bit. Um, You know, it's going to be a quick close. uh, And uh, we had multiple offers. Right. Um, so, you know, if, if I think if you still, if you have a great house and, and you want to sell it, you're going to be able to get a good number, maybe even more than you think. Um, but the key to the whole thing is pricing it right. Absolutely. And we're already seeing then people paying over ass price once again, back from the pandemic, the lull there yep. where, so all the naysayers that thought that we were going to have a, a crash in the market, that didn't happen. You and I have been telling them it wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. But I got some big news. First of all, you and I are holding a class uh, this uh, this week. I believe it is on the uh, 29th, right? And yep, we are going to be doing days. hometown heroes down payment assistance, how a first time home buyer can get into a home for as little as possible. And listen, we've been teaching these hometown heroes classes. I thought that that was about done. Guess what? They ran out of money, hundred million dollars infused, right? That's on pause until July 3rd. So look at the reason that Tom and I are doing this class on the 29th is because there's a lot of changes in hometown heroes and you will want to know about it. You don't want to miss this. This money's going to last for five months and it's going to be gone. So learn yeah. everything about it. But also, Tom, we're going to talk about other down payment assistance programs that people can get into. I'm getting them a buyer right now. Matter of fact, I'm working with one of your team members on it that I'm getting them $40,000 in down payment assistance. So if you're That's wanting to buy... This is a major opportunity. Then I'm holding a class on the 28th, the night before, and that's going to be on wealth building, how to purchase multiple properties in real estate. You need to go to webringyouhome.com and register right away. These classes are almost full already. Yeah, now, both of them. Both of them. I know yeah. I know my class is getting pretty close to full, so Yeah. So and here's another thing, Tom. Here's the deal. This is the this is the big news that came out. So Uh, Our Federal Reserve announced yesterday that we're probably going to see two more rate hikes this year. We thought they were finished, but inflation is truly not under control. Then the uh, the Bank of England and the Euros just raised their Fed rate by another half a point. They've had 13 consecutive rate hikes in a row. 13. They're now at 5 percent. We've had 10 rate hikes, one pause We've had 10 rate hikes. We're expecting two more and we're at five and a quarter. But that puts the Wall Street Journal Fed rate for us at eight and a quarter. That would put it in the euro approximately about eight percent. And they're expecting more Fed hikes. We're all trying to get to a two percent target on the, in inflation and inflation's supposedly at nine percent right now. That's what the that's what the euro is saying it is. But we don't really know what ours is because our, our federal government doesn't isn't really truthful. But you and I both know better. We think it's still pretty close to that nine percent rate, which I leads so, into yeah. the yeah, which means that we are now facing a recession because I, I just got the news, Tom, that Japan is in uh, in a contractionary uh, state right now, meaning that they are contracting. Things look like they could be heading for a recession. We could be heading for a recession. All those things looming. But here's the thing. Recessions will hurt some people, but it can help other people. And that means that it could actually improve mortgage rates rather than deteriorate them. We don't really know what's going to happen. We don't. We don't for sure. And, you know, and I'll remind you, I know you know this. I know a lot of people that listen to this and pay attention may or may not know, but 
you know, in in four out of five of the last recessions that we've had over the last few decades, only one of them prices actually came down. And that was the recession, the great recession that was actually caused by real estate. Right. It was caused by mortgages, the uh, the, the irresponsible exactly. mortgages that people were doing. And uh, that problem doesn't exist anymore. There it is does. truly what we call prudent lending right now. But yep. they're so fant- there's some fantastic products available and programs to help people right now that we all know, Tom, that if you're getting a mortgage today, you're going to refinance probably within the next 24 months. But I don't see that we're going to see a great break in interest rates for 18 months. I was thinking it was closer to, to 12, maybe even by the end of the year. But all my indicators are seeing 2025 is really our ticket for starting to see an improvement on that. But you and I both know if there's a shortage of inventory today, then houses will continue to go up in value. I predict by the end of 2026, your uh, your average purchase price in the market will be around $600,000. Now we're at 385 right now. How do we get to that? Here's how we get to it. No freaking inventory. That's how we get to it. Yeah, there is no inventory. That is for sure. Like I said, as soon as you, if you list a house correctly, it's gone in days. And even some of the incorrectly listed ones now are starting to at least get the activity on them. So um, it's, it's definitely a uh, interesting thing. And I I don't see the builders stepping up and building a ton because their material costs are high. Their land acquisition costs are high. The risks are high. Um, You can't say inflation and then expect that builders aren't seeing the same thing. Oh no, they 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 experience the worst of it, you know. And the, in addition, shortages. in addition to to the cost of their products going up so high, they can't even get some of their products. Right, right, absolutely. Although that is, that is starting to get a whole lot better. I mean, no, it's, absolutely, it's better than it was post COVID, but yeah. it, and it is getting better. But there's still a shortage. There's still a shortage of certain things. And what's what's interesting is, you know, like I I I needed to buy some doors uh this this week for uh for my daughter's condo renovation and my choices were limited. Right. Yeah. So I I ended up with doors, right? I got but doors. You don't need doors. Yeah, no, they're not that important. But I I and I didn't get the ones that I would have wanted, but I need, you know, it's like a choice of do I wait four months for doors or do I just get the freaking project done? So yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm the same thing. I had to order a refrigerator. Uh, it's going to take me two months to get this refrigerator in and there's really no guarantee. So there's a shortage of, uh, of material. There's a shortage of chips still. Um, I don't understand why my, uh, 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 Nvidia stock went down when there's a shortage of of (laughs) chips. It should have skyrocketed up, but you know, that's my luck in the stock market, but I'm going to tell you something. It's an opportunity to buy more, my friend, just buy more. Well, you're right about that, but it also tells me that my real estate, my real estate portfolio is the way to go. Absolutely, absolutely. So listen, well, hey, listen, man, we've got a we've got a big week this week. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. I have to run. I've got a ton of things going on. I know yeah. you do as well. Have yourself so, a great listen, day. Okay? We need to log in. Everyone's invited. Even if you're another realtor, a builder getting into the market, join us in this class. I promise you, you will get something out of it. And Tom and I have no sales pitch for you. We bring you home.com. That's we bring you home.com. Man, have a great week. And I'll see you later on this week. You as well, my friend. See ya.